today we're going to talk about Caterpillar spacer plates. Uh, this particular spacer plate uh, is going to be for the 3406E, the C15, C15A cert, C16, C18 engines. The spacer plate sits on top of the block between the cylinder head and the block. We get a lot of questions on spacer plates. Hey Rob, I'm, I'm overhauling my engine or I'm putting a new head on. Do I need to put a spacer plate on with it? it it's a little bit of a complicated answer, but a lot of times when you've had a blown head gasket, uh, you can have erosion between the liners, between the ports here, and it'll actually deteriorate the spacer plate. If your engine has been really hot, you may have a spacer plate that isn't quite flat anymore, and that would be a good time to replace the spacer plate. We offer the spacer plate in a couple different versions. Uh, this one here is going to be the standard version, standard thickness, and then we offer a solution spacer plate. It's going to be three thousandths of an inch thinner than the standard spacer plate. It's really good for engines that have had liners that have wore down into the block. Now keep in mind, they need to be wore evenly and you still need to be within that uh, uh, two to six thousandths liner protrusion. You don't want to go any more than that for fear of breaking liner flanges. But the three thousandths thinner spacer plate is a great solution if you're down in the uh, two to three thousandths protrusion range. It'll get you back up to that five or six that you need to be at to, to make that engine last. So if you think you might need a spacer plate, you can check us out on the website at www highwayandheavyparts.com. If you've got more questions, give us a shout at 844-447-1453. We'd be glad to help you out from diagnosis through delivery, highway and heavy parts.